So we've just had an update in Lightroom from version 7.3.1 up to 7.4 and Lightroom's now given us the opportunity to um, tidy up and reduce the screen real estate taken up by both our presets. Uh, well, the ability to uh, cut down the real estate taken up over here was actually already inside 7.3. But um, the real estate taken up by all these basic um, profiles in the profile browser over in the develop module. When you've got them all open, it's just ridiculous. And we can actually that greatly reduce the screen real estate taken over uh, or taken up by this, um, these profiles over in the browser. And so we're just gonna quickly go through how to um, make this thing a little bit more efficient. Um, but before we do that, I just want to take the opportunity to inform you all that I've set up a Patreon uh, page. And uh, I'd just like to personally take this opportunity to publicly thank Stephen Byrne, Paul King, Neil Burton, Malcolm Stott, Paul Atkins, Stephen Walker, Frank Atchells and Jonathan Smith for being the first eight patrons to uh, actually support me in this um, venture over the uh, last few days since the page was launched so thanks guys you're all rock stars you really are and it's your contributions that help me con to continue blogging and making youtube videos so anyway that's that and i just want to uh, go through this um, new update that we've got and the first one is this manage presets and profiles and we'll go through that in a moment um, we've also got the ability to uh, add coloured uh, labels to folders and faster folder search. That's sort of a little bit of uh, what I term frou-frou. We can also gain support in uh, High Sierra, uh, the High Sierra operating system for HEIC and uh, V stills and videos from the newer mobile phones. And... We've also got this auto stack HDR and panorama inside of Lightroom, which really and truly I'm not going to bother going through because at least within the uh, circle of people who I speak to on a regular basis, um, dare I venture that this is one of those answers to a question that nobody was really asking. So uh, anyway, to get back to the important one, which is um, the... Uh, economizing of uh, real estate with these um, presets and profiles so what we'll do is we'll switch back over to Lightroom and we can now with this um, profile browser we can actually reduce the number of groups of uh, various profiles that are visible we don't actually delete them from the system but we delete them from the GUI, the Lightroom interface. And of course, we can also make a favorites as well, a little favorites category. And I like my camera neutral. So if I hover over camera neutral, you'll see I've got this little star here in the top right hand corner. If I click that, I've now added it to a favorites. We might as well go and tick the awful Adobe color and um, we'll go for the Adobe standard as well and we'll add that into uh, our presets and I'll also go for camera flat as well which I sometimes find quite useful and then what we can do is we can command or control and then right click and then go manage profiles and so I could really take out Adobe camera raw I could take out camera matching, I could take out legacy, artistic, black and white, modern and vintage and basically click save and all I'm left with is what I've got in my favourites. So, um, you know, I mean, that's cut down the screen real estate there to a very useful small area. And if I come over onto my left hand develop module preset and I click on this little plus icon here now this is something that isn't new in 7.4 we could actually do this before and we can go to manage presets and I actually like to turn 
everything off just like that I want to keep classics general I don't want classics video because I don't bring video into Lightroom but obviously I want to keep my user preset and I'll go ahead and click save on that so now we've dramatically reduced the amount of screen real estate inside the develop module that's been taken up by irrelevant presets that you don't want and perhaps irrelevant profiles that you don't want as well the um, hover over uh, preview for each and every one of the uh, profiles in the profile browser there's been quite a lot of people asking Adobe if they could actually remove this hover over effect and uh, Adobe's answer in short is no we can't uh, I personally think they could because they could just take the line of code out but well there you go <laughs> what do I know so I'm just a photographer so anyway there you go that's a very short brief quick video on how to tidy up your profile browser and your presets panel inside the develop module of Lightroom 7.4 should you so desire, you might actually want to have all that plethora of uh, profiles available to you if you like processing your images by button pushing. Who am I to tell you you're doing it wrong? I'm, I'm not telling you you're doing it wrong. I'm just telling you you're not really doing it in a very professional manner. But anyway, there you go. That's just my opinion and everybody's got an opinion and we all know what those are like. So uh, there you go. But for people who do want to cut down the, on the uh, real estate taken up with uh, excessive profile browsers and uh, presets panels, then uh, there's your quick, short, simple answer. So until the next time, true